this part right here is fucking this part right here is such a lie children to be upstanding citizens and that we are schooling our children and that we are parenting our children correctly don't shoot them upon sight because it is our worst nightmare we are like any other parent we are doing the best that we can and we are raising fine children upstanding citizens that should be safe to pick up their children their brothers and sisters You know, at my age, I was scared I couldn't defend myself. People like that, we need to be checking up on these gun owners. Because if you're someone that stands in a home and is petrified at someone ringing your door when you were never even, there's still a door between you and you're the one with the weapon, then you need to not have weapons. Because yeah. this- Oh, my God. Yo. <laughs> the sand man had it right all the time. I'm telling you, man. I'm seeing that now. I used to fucking feel bad for fucking those goddamn sand women over there in the desert, man. I used to really feel bad for them, man. That shit used to keep me up at night, man. Why they doing them women like that over there? Why they can't leave the house without a fucking escort? Why they can't talk in public? Why they can't vote? Why they can't drive? (laughs) I used to feel so bad for them women over there, man. Yeah, I'm seeing that the, the, the sand man had it right all the time. <laughs> Salute the Occupation Hall of Famer, Platinum Pig, man. He says, Whoopi presents her opinions as if they were facts. Whoopi is, Whoopi's very, she's a sun woman. She's very charismatic. She's very, she, 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 Whoopi could have been a great preacher, man. Whoopi would have been a great female preacher, man. Well, she's a great actress, man. She's a phenomenal actress, man. Phenomenal comedian, man. She got all the skills to be a great liar, man. <laughs> Salute to CA, Occupation Hall of Famer, man. She says, I just want to punch any of them or all of them. Yeah, man. That's what it makes you wish you had more than one arm so you can just punch more. Like, you wish you was like, Aqu- what's that dude? Aquaman? What's that? what's that man with all the arms? What's the superhero with all them arms that can stretch out? Extendo man or whatever the fuck his name is. I wish you could just punch all of them at the same time. <clears throat> I wish I could throw my voice so I could, you know, so if I if I ever seen her in public, I could be like, wait till she get around some sun sisters and be like, nigger. And they all turn around and see her. And she was like, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> and then they'd be like, oh, okay. Turn around. And I said, nigger. And she'd be like, <laughs> get her ass kicked, man, by some she boos, man. This woman is fucking crazy, man. I wish I could punch all of them, man, at the same time, man. And I hit hard, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I be that's one of my fucking um pride that I, how hard I hit, man. I'm a son, man, man. I adopt the shit out <laughs> in a perfect world, though. Not not in real life, but if I could, if I could get away with it, man. A man that he said, you know, at my age, I was scared I couldn't defend myself. People like that. We need to be checking up on these gun owners because if you're someone that stands in a home and is petrified at someone ringing your door when you were never even there's still a door between you and you're the one with the weapon then you need to not have weapons because yeah. this is the stand your uh, or stand your ground laws in the castle doctrine is it castle, castle doctrine, doctrine. Yeah. these things are scary the nra wants to roll these back further because mm-hmm. it, it fuels the profit of more gun sales when we can defend these people that are holding these guns it's a money problem right here the other issue though is they're rolling back kind of the accountability of the people shooting when you can just say he got charged <laughs> They're about to give this fucking eighty-four year old old man life. This is this is why I tell you they're they're better than you at this game, conservatives. The eighty-four year old man's face is all over the country. Biden called the victim. The victim got four million dollars in GoFundMe. The old man is facing a life sentence with a fucking prosecutor 
who has a mandate to get a conviction. And we know the fuck what type of judge they're going to put on this case. So the old man is pretty much fucked if he survives the trial. And they're on here talking as if the old man's got on scot free. They're on here talking as if the old man got off scot free. That's why they're better at this game than you conservatives. That's why you can't compete. On with the weapon, then you need to not have weapons because yeah. this is the stand your uh, or stand your ground laws in the castle doctrine. Is it castle, castle doctrine? doctrine? These things are scary. The NRA wants to roll these back further because mm -hmm. it, it fuels the profit of more gun sales when we can defend these people that are holding these guns. It's a money problem right here. The other issue though is they're rolling back kind of the accountability of the people shooting. When you can just say someone threatened you and you're scared in your house, this is problematic. This is why I think we need to be doing what we can't even get background checks and all the other things passed in every state. But mental health or if you have some deep seated racism that should be checked on a background check, you know, this stuff needs to be checked. Oh my bad. It's my bad, y'all. They wanna they wanna make sure they wanna see if they wanna they wanna they wanna make sure you're not a racist. Listen to what this horse says again. I gotta play it again since I since I was muted. They wanna make sure that you're not a racist before they give you a gun. Listen to this horse and do not sleep on them. Laugh, but take it seriously. Listen to what this fucking psychopath just said. The accountability of the people shooting. When you can just say someone threatened you and you're scared in your house, this is problematic. This is why I think we need to be doing what we can't even get background checks and all the other things passed in every state. But mental health or if you have some deep-seated racism that should be checked on a background check you know this stuff needs to be checked for like sporadically throughout time these types of <laughs> yo yo did you hear what she's saying this is how they think yo hey listen man you gliders, man, when y'all go, when y'all finally get fed up and leave this, um, leave here and go somewhere and, and build another America, because gliders can go to Antarctica and make another America. They could build America in the, in the ice. So when y'all finally get fed up and leave and go take a, make another America, do not take this fucking shit stain with you, man. Leave her up here with the POCs, man. Back further because it, it fuels the profit of more gun sales when we can defend these people that are holding these guns. It's a money problem right here. The other issue, though, is they're rolling back kind of the accountability of the people shooting. When you can just say someone threatened you and you're scared in your house, this is problematic. This is why I think we need to be doing what we can't even get background checks and all the other things passed in every state. But mental health or if you have some deep-seated racism that should be checked on a background check you know this stuff needs to be checked for like sporadically throughout time these types of situations your mental capacity changes to know an 85 year old man i get answering the door if you're you know defending your home 
one conversation, one exchange would have completely. He didn't have to open. This is the. This is the. This is the thing. I know you. I. I don't want to cut you off. Go ahead and say what you're saying. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, listen. You're 85. Somebody knocks on your door at 10 o'clock at night. Either do not answer it and call the police or say, who is it? It should not be the first thing you do should not be to <laughs> go to the door with a gun that you're ready to shoot. And that criminal gun <sighs> Salute the genetic freak, man. He said, it's no coincidence the safest sun countries are sandish or sand run. The sand man was right all along. Hashtag the sand man was right all along. Yeah, man. Facts, man. God. And, and, and listen, that does not make me happy because there's some things I think they went too far with. You know what I'm saying? But the general gist, because, you know, anytime you total power, like they have over those women over there, you, total power always becomes abusive so i mean i'm not saying that so over the thousands of years they've been living like that of course they fucking abused it but what i'm saying is the spirit of their fucking ways and their customs the spirit of it they were the sad man was right all along <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy. The Sandman was right all along. Wow. It just it it. The Sandman was right all along. Mm, mm, mm. And that doesn't make me happy.